Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In the previous videos, we have unboxed and checked out the Nanopies R6S with friendly WRT. In this video, let's have a 2.5 gigabit internet routine test with the device and later on we will be checking the power consumption a bit. So here is the network diagram that I will be using for the test. In the middle is a Nanopite R6S running friendly WRT. The test server is the Xeon A31230V2 running IPUB3 and open speed test. The link speed between the server to my R6S is 2.5 gigabit per second and the same for the connection between the R6S to my PC. So on the network interface configuration, I have the one port in GSCP client mode and this is the IP address for our LAN, it is 192.168.2.1 Before we proceed, let's check if the SQMQS is disabled and right here I have the full call not enabled but the short way of loading still disabled in order to monitor the CPU users, I will use HTOP to see the lot of each cores and TOP to see the general CPU users. Now let's run the IPUB3 with P4 and let's check out the result. Running the IPUB3 test in default mode, I can see that the CPU is 71% idle or 30% CPU utilization for 2.35 gigabit per second throughput and we can see that the dot is shares on all cores of the CPU. Running the IPUB3 test in revert mode, I can see that the CPU utilization increased and we only have 64% CPU idle for 2.35 gigabit per second. So it is around 35% CPU utilization for 2.35 gigabit per second throughput. Now let's check it out with open speed test. With the open speed test running at 2400 Mbps, we have the CPU at 64% idle and I can see that the load is shared on all cores of the CPU. So for upload, we have 85% CPU idle, or oh, actually it is 76% idle, so it should be around 35% CPU utilization for the upload test. Now I will turn on short way of loading and run the IPUB3 test and also the open speed test again. Running the IPUB3 test in normal mode with shortwave offloading enabled, the CPU is at 74% idle or 25% CPU utilization for 2.36 gigabit per second throughput. However, we can see a little improvement when running the IPUB3 test in revert mode. And for a 2.35 gigabit per second throughput, the CPU is at 69% idle or around 30% CPU load for the 2.35 gigabit per second throughput. Let's check it out with open speed test. Okay. Alright, for open speed test, we are running at 2440 Mbps and the CPU is at 70% idle. And for upload, we have more or less the same CPU idle. So we can see that shortwave offloading is working on the Nanopite R6 Ad, but they know much different in the CPU utilization when we turn on or off. Perhaps this is because the full call NAT is still enabled. Now let's switch to the power consumption test and let's check out how much power the Nanopies are sick at raw to handle a 2.35 gigabit internet throughput. Now let's have the power consumption checks for the Nanopies R6S. And right here I have the R6S in the middle. So, um, there are no Ethernet ports connected at all 
For the power supply, I will be using a Raspberry Pi USB Type-C power adapter. And this one have 5.1 volt output with 3 amp. All right. So this is a very typical USB Type-C power supply. And next, I have the power meter right here. So let me connect it and power on the R6S. So after start up the power consumption is around 2.6 and then it go back to 1.8 watt. And I believe the R6S should be booting up right now. So I believe the boot process is finished and during idle and no network port connected. The power consumption is 1.4. What? Now I will connect the Ethernet cable to the LAN port and it is also 2.5 gigabit. So shortly after that we can see that the power consumption go to 2.1 watt. Alright, so let's connect the one port as well. Okay, so during idle, the power consumption is 2.8 to 3 watt. With the iPod 3 test running at 2.35 gigabit per second, the power consumption is at 5 watt. Sometimes the throughput slightly increase to 2.36 and the power roll goes up to 5.2 watt. And here is the power consumption with the CPU uses overview when running the iPub 3 test in normal mode and revert mode. Alright, so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next one. Bye bye.